Good morning, everyone. Now, because there was no live stream last night because of the whole vault thing and someone being evicted, I thought I'd do this, guys. This is the first live stream of this season. I originally put it up in video form, and of course it was completely removed by ITV because why should anyone have fun? So I've rejigged it so it's just audio, but I've left all my inserts in there just as I recorded it on the day I put it up on YouTube. So it is me presenting it, having just watched the first live stream several weeks ago. What's interesting in the live stream is you're going to see Khalid flirting with Ali. You're also going to see Lily and Thomas having an interesting conversation about her life in the Chinese takeaway. Bit of flirtation going on there. You see Martha and Hannah and the like in the storeroom, the others in the main house. You have Nathan and Hannah having a really long conversation about who they are, where they're from, etc. And then finally you have Izaz and Sheggs, and Sheggs telling Izaz, I'm closed off. I'm not getting into a relationship here in the Big Brother house, because they'll all be fake. Clearly talking about romantic relationships. And isn't that interesting now, when you look at him and Hannah, and the kind of mess they've created with their, we're not in a relationship, but we flirt like we are situation. So I thought I'd put this up, give you guys something to listen to and watch, you know, rather than absolutely nothing. And, you know, enjoy it because, you know, there's no point in just sitting on a hard drive somewhere and no one gets to see it because how quickly we forget what these guys were like when they first came in. So here you are, guys. Catch you later. Goodbye. Give me drama. In it. Just let me have fun. Give me the bag. Let's go. Like, well, we'd all like that, wouldn't we, Khaled? Basically... You come in, there's no drama, there's nothing for you to do, you just take the money, and you leave. It'd be a very short series of Big Brother if that actually happened, but I would like to see it nonetheless. So welcome everyone to this first video in which we look at last night's first premiere debut live stream of Big Brother 2024. And it was an interesting one, because, you know, normally we complain that they use the bird noises, and they've added plane noises as well now, to cut out everything everyone says. And they did that on last night's live stream. And I didn't catch it all, by the way, because it's quite difficult to catch the whole live stream, because it's difficult to record. But they also seemed to give away an awful lot last night, on the other hand, so I was not quite sure why they did that. But we're going to start with what could be the biggest spoiler for tonight, so if you don't want to know what that is, then don't watch any further. But as some of you will know, because you watched the show, last night the contestants came in and had to choose whether they were going to stand on the blue side or the red side of the room. And those who were on, I think, the red side, which was the majority, got banished to the storeroom, and those on the blue side got to stay in the house. And now we're going to find out what happens to those in the storeroom and what happens to those who are in the house. And we're going to learn about the strategy Big Brother has planned. So, like I say, if you don't want to know, don't watch any further. But here's how it all unfolds and you can see how they put the program together when you watch the live feed because you see the bits and pieces and how they edit them but this is quite interesting and you're going to find out that there's going to be a redemptive arc that someone is going to be able to come out from the storeroom and not face eviction which they were going to face if they were in the storeroom and someone from the house is actually going to get shoved into the storeroom. So have a look. Really? Uh, this is Big Brother. On the seat. Yes? This is Big Brother. Would all housemates and non-housemates remain silent? Will all non-housemates gather at the benches in front of the TVs? Okay, here, here, here. Okay, move up, move up, because I'm not coming. Will all housemates gather at the sofas immediately? Okay, we're here. Okay. Do you want to come close? I don't know what's happening. Oh. What is happening? My TV heart is beating. I'm allowed to do it. Guys, I'm too small for this chair. <laughs> if they, if they music, <laughs> My legs are dangling like. I don't like it. Music. I'm like a little puppet. <laughs> <laughs> God, do they not make small people size this chairs? This is <laughs> Big Brother. Would all non housemates remain silent? Spirit don't fall around. Mm. This is Big Brother. Non housemates, how are you finding storage? Big oh, Brother is not only really giving slide, if I'm honest, it's giving eyes. <laughs> and I'm not really prepared. Listen, Big Brother. It's, it's not a slide, it's a slide. I just 
just need a bit of a bait. Is there going to be any baits coming Give me out of it, big brother. I want the hot tub. I can't lie. I pretended it was cool. I pretended it was cool. It was cool. It was cool. It was They're very funny. It's a little sit down. Hilarious. I fucking dead. What are you talking about? You've got a bed, sweetheart. This is Big Brother. With non housemates remain silent. Are you just having you ask us things on lips? Non housemates, you are all currently stuck in storage. Oh. Yeah, don't we know it? You also face the first eviction. Oh. Oh, it's man. been fun while it lasted, thanks, babe. Yeah, thank you. But all that can change. Oh, listen. <laughs> Sign me up now. Press up competition. <laughs> Let's not do a competition. No, because he wins at least. Non housemates, I'm going to give you chances to become a housemate and save yourself oh from the first eviction. Oh, okay. Oh, now the game begins. Okay. Yeah. Me. Stay at home night, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> Put my dress back on. Oh. But. Oh. It won't be easy. Oh, it's Sunday night. Love you. <laughs> non housemates, you must prove you're a better housemate than one of your housemate rivals. Oh, 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 so we're going to do tasks oh, against each other better than the others. Oh, I don't yeah. know. All right. This is going to be shit. <laughs> dance off, ask for a dance off. I'll be there. Non housemates, you must remain silent and listen to your instructions. This is why we're not housemates. You must challenge and then beat one housemate in a brutal head-to-head -head battle. Oh, hell. Each head-to-head -head will take place in my battle room. Oh, 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 oh my big brother! Straight old badger, aren't you? If you win, you'll enter the house as a better housemate and no longer oh. face eviction. Okay. The losing housemate will take your place in storage. Oh. It's a fucking dead pigeon there. <laughs> Pay attention. Oh, It'll be Lily. <laughs> this is Big Brother. It's time for the first Head to head battle. Two o'clock in the morning. Oh, <laughs> oh I'm dead tired. I just met loads of more. Okay. Yes, I. <laughs> Is it sleeping challenge? Because we're literally yeah, yeah. heads. Yeah. You're giving me a flat beer now. The first head to head is a game of strategy. Oh my god, slay! Oh, deception Ooh. and persuasion. Oh. oh. To be a great housemate, you must be a great game player. Oh god. I never, <laughs> never won a game in my life. This show's funny. Housemates, you must remain seated. Big Brother will get back to you. Thank you. Are we allowed to talk? Yeah, we'll we can talk, we've got to stay here. Non housemates, <laughs> you must now decide attention. which one of you <laughs> is the best <laughs> game player you and you to play the first so head to head. Yeah. Like me? Can I do it? Yeah. Can I do it? Yeah, of course you can. We'll go ahead, Are you sure? Oh, yeah, thank so you. Everyone yeah, everyone happy yeah, with that? Is, is that okay? Yeah. It's alright, I don't want to put my hands on it. Are you sure? Martha, if you can get out, get out. Go, Martha. Go, Martha. Martha, if you can choose. Just so you know, if you get an opportunity to save any of us, you know what we just said to you. You're out. We let you go, all right? <laughs> non housemates, are you happy with your choice? Yeah. 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 Oh, I think I'm really good as well. Oh, oh, she's going to put yourself in the ring? Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah? Go okay, on, should, we have, a, remember, should, should is, we have a democracy? Yeah. yeah. Well, no, there's going to be more. Like rock, paper, scissors. Okay, yeah, maybe you go for rock, paper, scissors, or would you rather do a vote for that? I like rock, paper, scissors. Do you know what you're doing? What are your reasons for wanting yeah. to and what are yours? Yes, yeah. Um, I just want to be excited. I want to take every opportunity that I can do. Fair. <laughs> Fair. That's sweet. Oh. So I'm like dead clever and dead god. 
Oh, okay. Well, that's, that's all right. Good luck. Argument They're well. very much yeah, similar. Yeah. Yeah. Reasons yeah. are yeah. similar. Yeah. I mean, yeah. 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 Rock, paper, scissors. Fairest uh, way, I guess. Rock, paper, scissors? Yeah. 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 You're going to go one, two, three. Non-house mates, oh. you must not decide randomly. Oh. Use right. reason. Oh. Uh, I just I'm really gonna, want to I'm going to make Mark look a shit. I think first come, first serve. Yeah. Should we do that? Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. 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 I like Martha's pause as well. We'll go Martha's pause as well. So you know, we need one from me and one from the outside. Oh, I'm with you. Okay. Do you want to try next time in the next one? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Go on, tell me what like, you mean. Like, you know, like, for example, America in the 80s, they had like a lot of like, for example, you know, the living room, they will have like embedded couch sofas right, okay. to the floor. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I do. Actually, yeah. sofas. Okay. There will be like nice neon colours in the house. Yeah. It's not minimalistic. Yeah. Okay. Do you like, yeah, I do actually. Yeah. yeah. So, I never thought about like interior design for the 80s. I like, like, the whole like fashion and music and yeah. hair, etc. Hence this like individual. Kind of, yeah, exactly. Individual. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I can't lie to you because a lot of people aren't rocking it the way that you're rocking it, babe. You think? Yeah, that's good. Though. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually just saying. Oh, I Literally. <laughs> 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 right, pretty much a fashion. You might as yeah. well. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get the guys to embrace it. Yeah. I love that for you. Good. Oh, that's amazing. Oh. No, that's gonna be great. 80s, what's he like? What music wise or what? Anything, like, for example, like, what food do you like? Food? Yeah. I love, like, lamb, meat, like, kind of. But anything really. I'm pretty. Okay. Yeah, I'm, what about you? If you get your steak though, what we'll would steak. you get? Mm. What do you mean, as in, like, where? 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 Really? Where? where is possible? Fuck off. Yeah. I'm gonna need the wild sort of things. Like, that's like cremated. It's like chewy and ooh, gas. No, well done, I think it's like a bit cremated. Reading well, I thought as if it's like a bit of both. I like it like, with the blood coming out of that. Really? I can't do that. You're it not. scares me. Does it? Yeah. No, I like it. Yeah. Like, I was originally a well done girl. Hmm. Then well I said, done girl. Yeah, I was a well done girl. How did you start? I'm so glad I'm here. Like, that made me like, yeah, I was originally a medium rare kind of guy. Yeah. Now I'm a rare guy. Yeah, I'm a rare guy. I love it. I love it. Yeah. I'm the world well on tour, like, a base, and basically, someone told me he ain't got no flavour in that shit. Yeah. Well done. I was like, okay, cool. Go down a bit. Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, that's so funny. <laughs> yeah, that's so funny. Oh my god. I am like, what the fuck? <laughs> but it's, it's good. <laughs> Here we have a conversation that would send Ryan's blood pressure through the roof if we're to believe what he says. Because Days and Dean discuss pronouns. He asks her, what are your pronouns? To which she responds, uh, is it she, they, but it depends on the day and how I'm feeling. And I'm like, okay. Then she says, in my heart I'm feminine, but I present, he said, does she say, I present as feminine, but in my heart, I'm really more androgynous. And this is what I find so confusing about this whole thing, because I'm like, well, how are you supposed to know that? Unless you ask the question, which I think is an unusual question for someone to ask, especially as you're getting to know someone, how would you know? Because I remember someone telling me once after a show, oh, well, you know, I sometimes feel male, sometimes feel female. He was male, by the way. But it depends on the day and how I'm feeling, and I think, well, I understand that to a certain extent, but at the same time I think, well, the trouble is that a lot of these people get really offended when you get it wrong, but how are you supposed to know? If you're feeling female and you look like a male and I accidentally call you a male, why would you then get offended? Because I, I, didn't, I didn't know that. And I find these conversations kind of strange. And I find it also weird that you would say, well, I, I don't really know, I'm still making up my mind. It's like, ugh. It just seems to me to be unnecessarily complicated. But there we go. They have the conversation. And let's see if this comes... It's bound to come up again if this has now been voiced. I'm sure it will. Same. I love that. Yeah, like, same. What are your pronouns? Are you she, her? Or? Well, I'm she, her, but she, they okay. is like the preference. What do, you, what do you prefer? But that's the thing. You like, mind, it depends on the day. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So like usually it's like I'm not I try to not be like too bothered about it because it's so like I don't know I'm still figuring out my own gender expression okay. and I think I present really like femme 
yeah. they're like actually my heart. I don't feel like okay. You know what I mean? I feel a bit more like androgynous. Yeah. So yeah. I hear that. So that's kind of like you. Okay. You say sometimes, you she sometimes like you know, listen, generous mix. Yeah. Yeah, but that's, <laughs> what, that's what you listen. That's what you're allowed to do. You're allowed yeah. to express who you want to be. <laughs> like if you want to be day one. For those of you wondering who might have the strongest handshake in the house, and I know a lot of you do care about these things, according to Shegan, it's Nathan. He says his handshake was wham. I, said, I didn't, you know, I think that's a great expression to use. And it takes me back to my childhood when we used to eat wham bars. They still make them, by the way, but they were, they were bigger back in my day. And they were only 10p. 5p early on. I, I reckon, I reckon it's going to be a vibe, like, that's what you're going to do. And they just wrote to our four girls. That's true. Don't like it. Like, all I know is names, genuinely. Yeah. Rosie, I spoke to her a little bit. Rosie's Rosie seems cool, bro. She's happy to be here. Rosie's really she's happy to so be here. Happy to be alive. And Emma as well. Yeah. She's yeah. speaking to the Scottish lad with the long hair. He's all right. And Nathan? Think, yeah, Nathan. Nathan. Nathan's yeah, nice. Yeah, right. He's all a bit. Yeah, he's got um, he tall guy. gold buckle. He's got a gold shirt. Back here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't spoken to him yet. He, he was right at the back. His hands was wham, you know. He shook my hand, yeah, my wrist disappeared. I'm telling you. He just <laughs> swallowed my whole hand when he shook my hand. <laughs> hands was massive. <laughs> That's insane. Oh, great right now, though. No, genuinely, I shook his hand and my, my wrist disappeared. Back in the storeroom, we have Lily and Thomas. And he's asking her about working at a Chinese takeaway. Now, what starts as a conversation that I, I can understand uh, seems to descend into something I, I genuinely don't. It just becomes uh, screaming and, and words. But maybe you'll get it better than I. What? Like, when people order on the phone, do you judge them? Because I would. Yeah, so like, some people call up and they'll be like, so they'll be like, yeah, I want to deliver it. And they'll be like, and what do you want? And I'm like, you, pra you rehearse what you want before it. Yeah. And I'm like, so what does Ange want? She's like, Ange! Ange! Do you need a Christmas any chili beef sauce separate or do I all together? Trauma here because I feel like you know these bars line by line. Like you, you're like, I fucking remember I am this like, phone call. I am like, like, like a robot on the phone. I'm like, hello, here's it for delivery and collection. Perfect delivery. Yeah, so delivery time, just like you know, we're looking up to 45 minutes. Perfect. What would you like? Yeah, so you would just like a ribs, speak and sauce, ribs, can sneeze. Oh, yeah, salt for the chicken, a chicken fried rice, and curry sauce. Perfect. So all together, you order comes to £30.50 and delivery time, as I said, will take up to 45 minutes. So would you like to pay card over the phone or cash at the door? Perfect. Thank you. Bye. I feel like you're a robot at this point because you I know am, that off by heart. Like six years of it, like, yeah. I am literally a robot. Fair. Now the housemates who are in the house are then called to the storeroom so they can get refreshments. But they don't know where the storeroom is, and, and I, like them, thought that the non-housemates were in the storeroom, locked away. But clearly that's another storeroom, and maybe it's got another name that I haven't remembered to say. But yeah, we don't even know if they even find the storeroom. They leave the room, and then we don't really see them with anything particular in their hands except the old cup of tea. So I thought, well, those are the refreshments, or were there other refreshments planned? Did they actually never find the storeroom? I'm wondering if they ever did. They just walk off randomly. This is Big Brother. Refreshments are available in the storeroom. Where's the storeroom door? Oh. Yeah, but where, are they meant to be in the storeroom? No, yeah. that's... Yeah. Where's the storeroom? That way. Think that way. Should we go and have a look then? Yeah. Would them lasts look red to me? Yeah, yeah, they might be you can try. Wait, is the storeroom done? Guidance. Just in case, I don't know, you might tell me not to. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, don't, I don't want to risk I don't want to get looked at again. <laughs> 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 I don't want to get in trouble. He's literally sending us for refreshments. I know, I know. I'm not it's a hot drink and I'm just be careful. Be careful. Okay, if that's a word, being careful. Uh, is this, I like that, being careful. Are you sure the story was this way? It's weird because it's the only light that's green, apart from the one upstairs. I know, I'm all confused now. I'm so... No, I wouldn't go out there. Okay, okay. before you go out, is that light red or... Okay. It's no. green. It's green. Well, where's the story, Matt? That one out there? And we round off our round up of the live stream with a deep and meaningful conversation between Izaz and Shegum, in which they're talking about relationships and how they're planning on navigating relationships in the Big Brother house. Shegum is absolutely convinced that he's closed off and nothing's going to happen. Now, let's be honest, last year, the only relationship that really happened was Jenry, uh, Jordan and Henry. Nothing else really blossomed, as I recall, between a boy and a girl. So, it might happen this year, it might not. It always is interesting if it does. It adds a bit of a layer to things, and I think it possibly could this year. But I love the way these guys just talk so seriously about it, and they're so sincere about it. But I get the impression that after a few weeks in this house, if both of you are still there, 
things will change because they always do. Perspectives change, you know what I mean? And opinions you came in with beforehand change, and that's the whole point of the experiment. But for you, but you're open to it, are you? I'm not open to it, you know. I'm closed off. Yeah? Ah, yeah, I'm closed off, man. Yeah, I don't, I don't. Because for me, yeah, if I talk about myself now, in this house here, this room, it's not real, bro. Anything in here that happens in this house, take me out of it. Anything that happens romantically with any person in this house, I don't think it's truly real. And I think there's a small portion of it that generally can be authentic, but it doesn't reflect authentic relationship yeah. um, in the house. Outside, mm -hmm. life outside reflects authentic relationship for me. Do you get me? I think, look, Everyone, so for example, mm. if we're talking about authenticity in, in terms of like relationships and stuff, yeah. for me, it's like, look, you could be anywhere you want, right? Mm. Even if it's, for example, a club mm. or a park. Or yeah. That moment is like this, even mm. though it is probably Ed Live or whatever it is, mm -hmm. right? I think I can't sit here and say that that can't be genuine. I think it, I'm saying do that. You, do you get me? If no, there's no, a no. click, you can have a connection, click. but yeah. when I say authentic relationship, yeah, yeah, yeah. When I, and that's just general. Yeah, so yeah, I'm yeah. saying, like, yeah. what does relationship look like as a package? Yeah. As an outside looking in, as a whole, what does relationship look like? And I think in here, because it's temporal, right? I think you're in close to like, because it looks different in here, you can have a connection with somebody here. I'm not disputing. Yeah, no, of course. I've got a connection with you, I feel. I've got a connection with Ali. Yeah, yeah. I've got a connection with Ali. I've got a connection with Ryan. Yeah? So we've all got connections. I think romantically, you can have a connection with someone here. I will not dispute that. I think that it just doesn't necessarily reflect authentic relationship in its true form. Because when you go outside, that is genuine authentic relationship. I think, I think that's where it's like a make or break though, isn't it? Yeah. Does, does so you that... can find somebody in here yeah, and it goes well. It's like, yeah. wow, like, we'll, if it we'll does, pop fantastic. Enough. And then when you guys carry outside and it yeah, gets yeah. even better, and that's great. Which yeah. I hope if, if anyone does, like, yeah. I'll support it and I'll, 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 I'll be as helpful as I can between that relationship mm. but like for, like if, if we're speaking like frankly like if, if I was to be in that position I don't think I would be but like it's one of those things it's like yeah look firstly someone has to fancy me right <laughs> how that bro you're a good looking guy though man no 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 probably looking at you the like, like, way already on a, on a real level it's like I'm, mm. I'm quite I'm quite pulled back on that a little bit I hear you to be honest and so say, let's say take that side big brother now yeah like, what are you in terms of, like, you know, because I know you say you're single right now in terms of relationship status. Are you open to relationship like, outside the house it's now? Or are you, like, in a journey of, like, you're just still working? I, 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 do you know what? I'm just, like, because I'm so stuck into my work routine and everything mm. like that. Things, things... You do, you put, is it proper you, you do, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. 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 long hours and stuff as well is trying to make time. I'm with you, bro. So, long story short, it's, like, I don't really... As bad as it sounds, I don't put my focus into dating, mm. or trying to find someone or anything it's like that. Or it's second yeah, 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 yeah. It's just one of those things. If it ends up happening and something's right, See. and like I said, it's 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 a bit different because I have mm. a child. Mm. You know what I mean? That's true. So it's not like I can just go dating any woman in the world right now, or, mm. you know, have some sort of fling. I hear that. Well. Yeah. What what is the point when I have something that I need to cater for? True. True, true. And that needs to be something real. That's good. That's true. So, like, realistically, if it's not real, I don't want it. Oh, facts. Do you know what I mean? Facts, bro. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Got it's got to be real, man. It's got to be real. It's got to be forced. can't be played out. Yeah, I, I just feel like the dating scene nowadays is so weird at the minute because you can just get up and leave. Yeah. What are you, 27? 29, bro. 29? Mm. I thought you might. You, 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 no, it's good. Like, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this little video. I'm sorry it's not kind of a bit more substantial. But we'll work on it, and we're just, you know we're just starting out. We're just getting out the starting gates here. What did you make of it? What did you make of the live stream? What did you make of the information you picked up? Who are your favourites thus far? Which characters are you liking? Which characters are you not liking? Which people are you suspicious of? Which people are you very trusting of? Let me know in the comments below, and let's chit and chat. And I did say chat. Okay. Thanks for watching. Catch you later for more videos on everything. Not everything.